Well, some of our corn is tasseling, I mean, uh, silking, and uh, you can see the little red parts opening up on the uh, pollen on the tassels, and the wind is what generally, it just falls down here. And in case you didn't know this, if you look close enough, you can see little pieces of pollen, pollen clinging to it. And each one of those silks go to one corn kernel. So if you get one that's uh, incomplete, it's because some of these silks didn't get touched by pollen. And in a small patch, if you got it all silked out about the same time, and you got these a little heavier pollen, you need more than that. See, the center, center stalk is releasing pollen on all these others, but the others are solid green. They're not releasing yet. But you could take and snip off uh, that top thing with all the pollen in it and go around and just tap each one of these with it that has silk. And that would be a guarantee that you got foliar corn, except what the worms eat. We told you we were going to plant corn like every 10 or 15 days, two or three weeks apart. Well, we decided to put a fence up and have some broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts and it's about time in Virginia to be planting those. I planted mine about 10 days, two weeks ago. I did a video and didn't put it up. And uh, they've already got second leaves on it. And what we're gonna do is put a fence up so the deer and rabbits won't eat it. And we'll take all the cucumber fencing down and make a box on the other side of this. And uh, of course this corn won't be here either, but the other end is sunnier. And we'll try to get some broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts this year. Well it's time to start thinking about uh, cold weather crops well, mostly in the cabbage family. These are uh, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. I planted these four days ago. Today's the 12th of the, uh, August. I planted them on Friday the 8th and it's usually 8 to 10 days from I come up from seed. Uh, they came up in two days. They need a lot of light at this point in time and that's why this light is really close to them. So they can be healthy. Now in Virginia it's hard to grow uh, cold weather crops in the early spring because most of them require cool temperatures and by the time they're getting ready to be harvested, especially Brussels sprouts, uh, it's getting too warm and they bolt and go to seed. And a Brussels sprout needs to actually get to cold temperatures below freezing and it makes them a lot sweeter. And this, these are both 80 to 100 days and if I planted them that's from seed on the 8th of August you're talking September the 8th October the 8th plus 20 days October the 28th and that's about the first earliest freeze we get and if it goes on to 100 the next free the, our freezes are generally end of October to the end of November occasionally we'll slip into December so you need to think about getting them started because it's always better to plant transplants and then you can move them to the garden when the temperatures get down into the 60s and below for them to grow and produce their fruit.